Right, the next race is the Vulcan Stakes. Race 22, we're at Doval in France. I'll be with you for the next three Doval races. One is Sweet Chaos LB1. Two is Roaring Forties, Martin Needham. Three is Treasury Brand, Craig Beckworth. And four is Windy City, Padre Gogan. Only four horses here in Doval. Now to start. And away they go. Quickly away on the inside, Windy City for Padre Gogan. But now being passed by Roaring Forties and Sweet Chaos. On the outside of Roaring Forties and Sweet Chaos is the one who wins the battle for the lead and goes on. So Sweet Chaos leads. About a length and a half clear of Roaring Forties in second. Then comes Craig Beckwith's Treasure Brand and Windy City at the back for Padre Gogan. So it's serious chill. Obi-Wan, Sweet Chaos the leads. Three lengths clear of Roaring Forties in second. Then Treasure Brand for Craig Beckwith. In third position in the back of the field, Windy City for Patrick Hogan, the Irish challenger, about seven lengths off this leader, Sweet Chaos. So the American horse leads, Sweet Chaos leads from Roaring Forties in second, Treasure Brown just on the outside of Windy City, and got about a mile left to go, and Sweet Chaos is well clear here from Roaring Forties in second. Treasure Brown in third on the outside of Windy City, is about seven lengths first to last as Sweet Chaos takes them along in those yellow colours, the lilac and white colours in second, that's uh, Roaring Forties for Martin Needham, Windy City, the yellow colours with a black cap, that's Padre Hogan's colours. On the outside that is Treasure Brand, that's the blue colours with the white sleeves and white cap for Craig Beckwith. So they're about seven lengths first to last still as Sweet Chaos leads, but not so far clear now as uh, Roaring Forties moves closer, about four lengths to drift. Windy City is moved into a clear third from the sort of the back of the field, Treasure Brand is going to be played late for Craig Beckwith. It's still in front, Sweet Chaos from Roaring Forties in second. On the outside of that is Windy City, and then Treasure Brand is in danger of losing touch about four lengths behind Windy City. The three is a pack in field now. There's only about three lengths between the top three horses and Sweet Cow still the leader. From Roaring Forties leaving up on his outside. Windy City's trying to move closer and pushed along at the back is Treasure Brand. It's still Sweet Chaos in front. There's still a long way to go. Another three and a half furlongs or so. Sweet Chaos from Roaring Forties in second. Then Windy City. And at the back Treasure Brand still got a lot of work to do from there. Sweet Chaos still rolling in front and travelling strongly from Roaring Forties and then Windy City. Treasure Brand is trying to get going but Sweet Chaos is travelling strongly in front for OB1 he's still three lengths clear of Roaring Forties and Windy City then behind there is Treasure Brand two photos left to travel still the Sweet Chaos leads the American Challenge still well clear Roaring Forties and Windy City aren't making much impression Treasure Brand not really getting going either and still Sweet Chaos leads with our further left to travel Sweet Chaos Windy City getting up on the outside to try to challenge Sweet Chaos needs the line now Windy City on the outside Sweet Chaos has got a beaten horses Windy City breezes on by and Padraig Ovi wins another race. Windy City for Ireland and Rowan Forties back in second for Martin Edom. Then came Sweet Chaos and Treasure Brand was lost. So Windy City wins it for Padraig Ogan. Second was Roaring Forties. Sweet Chaos managed to hold on for third and in last place was Treasure Brand for Craig Worthworth. So another winner for Padraig Ogan having a really good season. He wins the race, the Vulcan Stakes from Doval with Windy City.